different teams different projects and different enterprises have different journeys towards devops how can you assess your maturity level in implementing devops let's look at a few questions that can help you to assess your devops maturity let's start with the maturity signals at the development phase at the development stage we would start with asking does every commit trigger automation tests and automated code quality checks this is very very important signal right having continuous integration is very very important the second question is is your code continuously delivered to production if your code is getting continuously delivered to production that means that you have amazing automation tests and amazing processes another great question to ask is do you use pair programming and do you use test driven development and behavior driven development i see that teams which use pair programming tdd and behavior driven development write really really high quality code the next question is do you have a lot of reusable modules when we build applications there is a lot of things that can be reused and does the team focus on identifying them and reusing them across your enterprise that's the intent of this specific question do you have a lot of reusable modules the next important question is can development teams self provision environments if something is not really working you want to check something up quickly can you provision an environment deploy an application to it and check it by yourself this question signals that you are using infrastructure as code and the development team has all the flexibility to introduce new innovations the next important question is how long does it take to deliver a quick fix to production let's say there is a very very important bug introduced and you want to quickly fix it and deliver it to production how long does the entire life cycle takes so these are some of the important questions from the perspective of development let's now look at some of the important questions from the perspective of test team or the testing team the first question is are your tests fully automated with high quality production like test data are you relying on manual testing for your important test cases is your test data very similar to whatever you expect in production the next question is do your build fails when any of your automated tests fails whether we are talking about unit tests whether we are talking about integration tests whether we are talking about uat tests or system integration tests if any of those tests fail then your builds should fail as well the team should be immediately notified the next important question is are your testing cycles small when testing cycles are long when testing cycles goes into weeks and months then it means that there is a lot of manual testing going on and we should focus on trying to automate some of those tests the next important question is do you have automated non functional requirement tests do you have tests to do load testing do you have tests to do security checks the more non functional requirements that you automate the quicker you can take your applications live the next set of devops maturity signals are from the perspective of deployment do you have dev prod parity are your dev environments very very similar to your production environments if your dev environments are very very similar to your production environments you will find defects early do you use ab testing if you have multiple options of implementing a specific feature you can use ab testing to implement multiple options and see what your end users what your consumers like do you use canary deployments whenever you making the new release are you doing canary deployments are you deploying the new version to a subset of the servers test it and then roll out increasingly to all the environments can you deploy at the click of a button let's say there is a new version of software can i deploy it without doing anything manual with just clicking a simple button another important question is can you roll back at the click of a button if i would want to go back to the previous version is there a lot of manual things that i have to do or can i do do it at a click of a button the next question is can i provision and release infrastructure at the click of a button let's say i would want to create a new virtual server let's say i would want to release a virtual server which was already created can i do that in a very easy way The next important question is do you use infrastructure as code and version control your infrastructure using infrastructure as code and having version control around your infrastructure configuration indicates high levels of devops maturity the next set of maturity signals are from the perspective of monitoring does the team use centralized monitoring system does the development team access the logs 
at the click of a button. Does the team get an automated alert if something goes wrong in production, if a server goes down, if an application goes down? Does the team get an automated alert? The next set of signals are from the perspectives of teams and processes. Is the team looking to continuously improve? This is a very important signal because this shows the enthusiasm among the team to continuously innovate. The next important question is, does the team have all the requisite skills, business skills, development skills and the operation skills? Or at least there is a representation from the business team or the operations team in your team. The next question to ask is, does the team track the key DevOps metrics and improve upon them? Typically, whenever we talk about the key metrics in DevOps, it's all about deployment frequency. How frequently are you deploying to production? A couple of other important metrics are time to market. How long does it take to build a new feature and take it to production? Another important metric is lead time between fixes. How long does it take to fix an important bug and put it live to production? It's very, very important to keep track of these dev metrics and track how the team is doing over a period of time. The next important maturity signal is the culture of taking local discoveries and using them to make global improvements. Whenever we talk about DevOps in enterprises, there are multiple teams implementing DevOps. Are all the best practices implemented by these teams taken to the next level and made as global improvements? In this step, we looked at some of the questions you can ask to identify the maturity of DevOps implementation at a specific team, project, or enterprise. 